The term overindulgence has become applicable to every facet of American life. Bigger houses, faster cars, expensive vacations have all become the symbols of the American dream. Though great for business, spawning success from Rodeo Drive to the swimming pool and cabana-clad backyards of in-debt middle-class Americans, over two-thirds of the world's population still remain starving. Why? Because places like this in Malibu, California, cater to the whims of the affluent. This is the Grand Cushion, a restaurant nestled snugly above the Pacific coastline with a view as expansive as the appetites of the clientele within. But I didn't have any breakfast. I always have flapjacks with my lasagna and lots of them. For the most part, the people who come here are wealthy celebrities like Orson Welles, Shelley Winters, and William Cannon Conrad. Le Grand Couchon has only three tables, yet manages to make an enormous profit built on what owner Frank Marcuse describes as good quality and big portions. In reality, the quality may be good, but the portions are unconscionably large and in some cases downright decadent. Red stick, Mr. Wills. Getting smaller, aren't they, Antonio? I'm so sorry, Mr. Wells. Shall I bring you another? Yes, and lots of them! But I'll keep this in the meantime. Use it as a swivel stick. Ready for your salad, Mr. Wells? Is Paris a city? <laughs> what sort of dressing would you like, sir? Blue cheese and extra creamy! <laughs> Don't cheat me on that now. Lots! More! More you both! This is Franco Corelli, maitre d' of Le Cushion. Franco, how do you reconcile within your own mind the disparity of the underprivileged and the clientele here, and the fact that, gosh by gosh, you probably couldn't afford to eat here yourself? Uh, well, Mr. Chaleur, for me it is a job, an honor to serve such famous people and a privilege to cater to their What them. is that? That uh, smells fantastic. Merci, Adrien, it is fine. Merci. Coco vin, monsieur. Well, I've never seen it prepared quite that way before. It's such a rich sauce, a sweet aroma. Mr. Wells likes his coco vin prepared with real coco. Well, it smells fantastic. Yes, sir. Oh, excuse me. Certainly. I thought I ordered a large pork sandwich. Hey, hey! What's she having? The pork sandwich, Mr. Wells. Well, bring me one, too. And more salad. Didn't you see it's gone? It is. This dinner is simply exquisite. But how far can we go before the world's food supply is completely hoarded by greedy capitalist countries? The lifestyle we choose now can have a Excuse me, Mr. Shallot, but your order will be 10 minutes. Uh -huh. Thank you. Phone call for Mr. Conrad. It's all too easy to be judgmental in a situation like this. That in fact, the Cushion symbolizes not the decadence, but rather the well-deserved abundance that comes with... Oh, great, plastic fork matches in there? Great, thank you. Excuse me, everyone, but today's dessert is Le Grand Gâteau and the King Kong Coconut Creme de la Creme.